Hi children, this is your physical science facilitator from Commodore Propos to SS. Welcome to the online classes. Children, in the last session, we learned some derivations. Means first, uh, first equation of linear motion, second equation of linear motion, and some graphs. I think some homework is also given to you. But the homework, two graphs are. How many members has completed that? Okay, good. Right? So here, time, our x-axis, y-axis, displacement, right? Okay, displacement. Here, also displacement. Okay. Of course, if we take velocity, if we take velocity, that will be differentiation by the x-axis. Here, like this, and like this. Means here it start with the rest. It start with rest. And here it doesn't start with rest. That is the difference between the both. In the first graph, the body starts with rest because it's begin with zero. Okay, that's the difference, the comparison. Right. Now, you know about the acceleration. What is it by acceleration? The rate of change of velocity. If the rate of change of velocity may not be in the range of increase, no? Okay, for example, uh, do you know Hussein Bolt? When the gun fires, immediately he starts with 0 meter per second to a lot. Means gradually velocity is increasing. Gradually velocity is increasing. After reaching the 100 meters, maybe in 9.5 seconds like that, and by its own time. So, if he reaches the 100 meters in 9 by itself, he continues to running in the same way? No. So, it comes to rest. Means, its velocity is gradually decreasing. Decreasing means velocity change is there or not? Is there? So, in that case also, acceleration is going to be present. But, that acceleration is decreasing. Decreasing. No. So, that it is called as deceleration or retardation. Deceleration or Retardation. Simply we define as the negative logarithm, sorry, the negative acceleration. The negative acceleration is called as retardation. Clear children? So acceleration is positive forward, means gradual velocity is increasing. One more best example we can consider when you throw an object upwards, when you throw an object upwards, vertically up, vertically up. Vertically up means gradually its velocity will reduce. Velocity is reducing. So what happened to that acceleration? Negative acceleration. Okay, for a vertically projected body, for a vertically projected body, the acceleration is negative. When you drop an object from certain height, that vertical freely falling away. I am not throwing, simply I am release the force. I am releasing here. So gradually what happened? The velocity will increase. So freely falling body vertically. Vertically freely falling body, velocity is gradually increases. So, the positive acceleration takes place. Have you understood? So, negative acceleration is also called as retardation. Okay, retardation or deceleration. Deceleration or negative acceleration uh, is going to be there. Of course, what we call that? Uh, retardation. Okay, ma? So, like there are so many examples of there in day to day life. Now, we will see third equation of linear motion. Okay, third equation of linear motion. Third equation of linear motion. What is that? V square minus U square is equal to two areas. Okay, so means for example the body here the body at point A and it reaches the point B means. It covers the displacement S. For that purpose, its initial velocity is U or the final velocity V. Means there is some change in velocity. So that acceleration is there. This is the data. If you want to find the relation among these, V U A S. V U A S. What is not there here? Time is not there. Okay. So at that time, we have to use this. Equation. Okay, have understood? 
So the body start with initial velocity of u and reaches the final velocity of v by entering the acceleration of a and towards the displacement of s. At the time, we have to go for this third equation of linear motion. Now, based on that, what is the data we have? First, we have to write the data. What is the data we have here? S, initial velocity. Initial velocity. What is that? U. And the final velocity is about V. Acceleration at time. Acceleration at time is A. And of course, the displacement. What is displacement? Yes. These are the things what we are having. That means uh, data we are having. For that, next one is about uh, formula. Same formula we are going to use. What is that? Displacement is equal to displacement is equal to what is the formula? Ma? Average velocity into time. Average velocity into time. Why? Why? Because velocity is equal to displacement by time. No. What I mean? Displacement. Displacement is equal to velocity into time. But here velocity is not unit. Different velocities are there. No? U is there, V is there. So, I need average velocity. So that, like this. Yes, what is that? S is equal to, means S is equal to average velocity V plus U by 2 into T. Now we will go for that. Derivation. Derivation. Are you following, children? Right. Let us see the derivation of this one. So, what is the formula? Displacement is average velocity into time. So, from that we will start. Displacement S is equal to average velocity V plus U by 2 into time T. But see one thing. What is the acceleration formula? A is equal to V minus U by T. Yes or not? Yes. So, we will see that one. But, we know that, but we know that A is equal to V minus U by T. Now, what I want? T. Because T is not there here, no? So, T has to be replaced by V, U and etc. So, T has to be replaced. Now, now write this formula, write this formula, T as the subject. Get the A here, T will be So, T is equal to V minus U by A. Here. So, instead of T, what we can write? V minus U by A. Are you following? We know that acceleration is V minus U by T. But what is the requirement? T. Because in that given expression, given expression there is no any T. So, T should be substitute in the case of V, U, A, S and etc. In this data only, because in the given formula there is no T. So, T has to be written in the case of V, U, A or S. So, here this is a formula V minus U by A for the T. Clear? Right. Now, I will write this one. Let us uh, as the first equation and it will be the second. Now, from this 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, simply substitute here, S is equal to V plus U by 2 into, instead of T, what is right? V minus U by A. Right? This multiplication now, so S is equal to 2 into A, A. It can be written as V plus U, V plus U into V minus U. See, so you here, A plus B into A minus B. A plus B into A minus B. What is the formula of A plus B into A minus B? A square minus B square. That's all. Now, 
we can write this one like this s is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So a square minus b square. Of course, a to a is already there. Why you are writing this one? Since a square minus b square formula. Since a square minus b square formula we are using so that a plus b into a minus b can be written as a square minus b square. How do I write better that formula also a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Okay. Now, s is equal to v square minus u square. Now, get the 2a to this side. 2a to this side. 2a is equal to v square minus u square. Write v square minus u square this side. v square minus u square, nothing is going to happen. And 2, a constant. Right, it is the first one. A, yes. So, v square minus u square is equal to 2a, yes. Is that? Derivation. Clear? See what? A body is a initial velocity u and final velocity is v. So there is some change in the velocity, so acceleration will be there. If this acceleration is obtained, some displacement, yes. From this, we are having the third equation of linear motion v square minus u square is equal to a s. For that, the data what we are having, we are writing here. And what is the formula of displacement? Velocity is equal to displacement by time and displacement is equal to velocity into time. So, but here we are not having a single velocity, different velocities are there, so we have to take average velocity. So, as we take average velocity into time. But in the derivation, there is no p. So, p should be there in these variables. Whatever the variables you are having in the data, we have to convert it to the parameters. So for that we are having a is equal to v minus u by d, then p becomes v minus u by e. Simply substitute this value here. That s equal to v plus u by 2 into v minus u by e. And it is the form of a plus b into a minus b. Then a square minus v square. A square minus v square. So that v square minus v square. Get the 2 into this side, we will get as a 2as. v square minus v square is equal to 2as into the derivation of that is also called as third equation of linear motion. Okay, understood? Good. Okay, so it's about third equation of linear motion. Where do we have to use this third equation of linear motion? If the variables are V, U, A, S. In that case, we have to use this one. If S, U, A, T is the second equation of linear motion, we have to use. What is the second equation of linear motion? S is equal to ut plus half inch square. First one, if initial velocity and final velocity or time is given, then we have to go for v is equal to u plus at. Okay now? Right. We will see now the remaining fourth equation of linear motion. Fourth equation of linear motion. Of course, it is the subderived equation. Common to consider the fourth equation of linear motion. Okay. Fourth equation of linear motion. That's about Sn is equal to Sn is equal to u plus a into m minus half. What is this here? Set. For example, if your body covers here to here, maybe the distance is about 10 meters. From point A to B, from point A to B, the distance is about 10 meters. This 10 meters, this 10 meters covered by a body in 10 seconds covers this 10 meters is covered by a body in 10 seconds ok then I want to know its distance covered only in the 10th second only in the 10th second in a particular second what is the displacement covered by a body if 
I want to identify the displacement covered by a body in a particular second. In a particular second, then we have to use this one. For example, up to 9 seconds, from here to here, from here to here, maybe 9 meters, maybe 9 meters, and it covers in 9 seconds. I want only the 10th second. What is the distance is covered? What is the distance is covered in 10 seconds? Only 1 meter. How you find? Total 10 seconds. How much? 10 meters. In 9 seconds, 5 meters. Only the 10th second means 10 seconds minus 9 seconds. The distance covered in total 10 seconds minus 9 seconds. Okay, we will see one more example, then you can analyze that very easily. From point A to B, maybe 50 meters distance is there. 50 meters distance is there. This 50 meters is covered in 20 seconds. 50 meter distance covered in 20 seconds. And in 19 seconds, from here to here, in 19 seconds, it covers approximately 45 meters. How much? 45 meters. Then what is the distance covered by the particular object only in the 20th second? How do you get? Distance in 20 seconds minus distance in 90 seconds. What is the distance in 20 seconds? 50 meters. Minus distance in 90 seconds? 45. So in 20th second, in the 20th second, what is the distance covered? 5 meter. Have you understood? If you want to identify the particular second, in the particular seconds, simply you have to substitute the previous, the distance covered up to previous seconds up to previous second means if you want to find the distance in sixth second sixth second then you have to find distance in six seconds minus five seconds if you find uh, if you want to find twelfth second twelfth second distance in twelve seconds minus distance in eleven second if you want to find ninety ninth second 99th second then distance in 99 seconds minus distance in 98 seconds if you want to find 5th second distance in 5 seconds minus distance in 4 seconds now I want to find distance in n second, nth second nth second so here if I want to find distance of displacement in nth second nth second. How are we get? Distance in n seconds minus distance in n minus 1 seconds. That's all. If you want to get 5th second, 5 minus 4. If you want to get 6, 6 minus 5. Third substitute, just the third subtract 1. If I want to find n, n minus 1. n not, n minus 1. So it is the fundamental formula to find the derivation S yes, n. Clear? Right. Now let us see. Sn is equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. What is this Sn? What is S equal to formula? Second equation of medium motion. Very good. S is equal to ut plus half ut square. But here, t is the time seconds. Instead of t, what is there here? n is there. So simply substitute here. un plus half a n square will come. If you want n minus 1, u n into n minus 1 plus half a into n minus 1 whole square. Simply substitute those values to get the answer. Now, I am writing now going to directly this one. The data is as usual. S n directly I am writing S n. S n is equal to S n minus minus S n minus 1. Right. Now, Sn will be Sn. What is S? Ut plus half a t square 
Now n is there here. No? Instead of t, we are having n. Substitute u in the place of t, n is there. u. Instead of t, what can I write? u n plus half a instead of t. Very good, n. u n plus half a n square. u n plus half a n square. So, this is over. Finished. Minus is there now? Minus. Yes, n minus 1. So, simply substitute of the t place n minus 1. So, u into, into base bracket. Don't forget, here the simplification is important. With brackets and minus and etc. u into n minus 1, u into n minus 1, plus is there, n plus. Half a is there, half into a. n is there, sorry, t is there, it should have to have right? n minus 1. Okay. okay, what we do here? Where t is there, what do I have to find? n minus 1. So simply substitute this n minus 1 in the presence of t. So u into n minus t and half a into n minus 1 all square. Right? Now, yes, n is equal to, keep this one as usual, u n plus half a square. You don't disturb this one. Minus, multiply here, u into n, u n, minus, minus is there, minus u into 1, u, plus half a into n minus 1 whole square. It is in the form of a minus 3 whole square. What is a minus 3 whole square? a minus 3 whole square. a square plus b square minus 2 degree. Okay, of course, some people will write a square minus 2 a plus b square, both are same. Okay, so now instead of a, what we are having? N, n square plus 1, b square plus 1 square minus 2 into, 2 into a means n, b means 1. Okay, so it is the form of a minus b whole square. a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus a. a square plus b square. Okay, where x square also one square is one only now. Minus 2 is there in the formula 2. A is there. What is A here? Yep. Yeah. So it is about A, it is about B. 2 A B. Right. S n is equal to U n plus half A n square minus U n minus U plus Multiply with this one. Half a into n square, half a n square, plus into plus, plus half a into 1, half a, plus into minus, minus half a into 2 into n, 2 n. Okay? 2, 2, get cancelled. Okay? Right? Now, yes, n is equal to u n plus half a n square minus what is it here u n minus u plus half a n square plus half a minus a into n a n okay alright now yes n is equal to this one u n plus half a n square now release the minus here release the minus multiply with the minus minus u n minus into minus plus u minus into plus minus half a n square minus into plus minus half a again okay? Minus into minus plus a n. See here, half a n square, half a n square cancel. U n, u n cancel. Yes, n is equal to, what is that now? All this cancel now. U is there, minus half a is there, plus a n is there. It can be written as, x n is equal to, I write plus a n and minus half a. 
Nothing is wrong now. I write A because A plus B, B plus A both are set. So I am writing A M and minus A. Now, S M is equal to U plus A is the A is the common the A. Here common the A. What is there? Now N is there. If we remove the A, N is there minus. Here also remove the A. If we remove the A, what will happen? Half. So S M is equal to U plus A into N minus half. It is the derivation, a fourth equation of linear motion. Let us see once again. Fourth equation of linear motion is the if you want to find the distance in a particular second, or displacement in a particular second. In a particular second, if you want to identify the displacement, we are using the fourth equation of linear motion. What is the fourth equation of linear motion here? S L is equal to u plus a into m minus half. If you want to find in a particular second, the distance in a particular second, it can be identified. It can be identified with the help of this formula: distance in m seconds minus distance in m minus one seconds. If you want to find tenth second, ten minus ten. Similarly, if you want to find the nth second, n minus n minus one. So that we are using this formula: s n minus s n minus one. So simply substitute those values with the help of this formula of second equation of linear motion. Second equation of linear motion is s is equal to u t plus half a t square. But instead of t, we are having n. So u n plus half a n square. Here also u n minus one. Instead of t, we are having n minus one. Plus half a into n minus one whole square. Simply substitute those values and simplification. U into n u n minus one. Half a. It is in the form of a minus b whole square. A minus b whole square. What is the formula of a minus b whole square? A square plus b square minus c. So a square n square b square one square minus two ab. So minus two n one. Next. After multiplication, how to multiply with this? This one half a into half a into n square half a n square half a into what? Half a half a into two into n square. So half a into two n. Here two two get cancelled in the denominator and the numerator. Two to get cancelled. Okay. So after getting after getting cancellation, we are getting like this. U n minus u plus half a n square half a minus a n square. Here release the minus. When you release the minus, minus into plus minus, minus into minus plus, plus into minus minus, minus into plus minus, minus into minus plus. So like this, we are getting this actual equation. Here u n u n cancel, half a n square half a n square cancel. You will get as u plus a n minus half a. From this, come on the a, come on the a, then you will get a n minus. Half. So S M is equal to U plus A into N minus half. This is the fourth equation of linear motion. Okay. Understood? Now numericals are there. So many numericals are there. You are in this chapter. We will see those numericals and how we can identify and which formula we have to use and where we have to use the uh, which type of formulas are there. All the things. But if you want to. Calculate. If you want to solve the problem, first thing is data. Okay, first thing is about data. First, you have to analyze the data. If you know the data, then you can analyze what is the formula we have to use. Okay. For example, yes, let us take one problem. So, a body. A body is moving with uh, 20 meter per second velocity. 20 meter per second velocity. At an acceleration of maybe 2 meter per second square. 2 meter per second square. Okay. And here, right? Brakes. A vehicle is moving 20 meter per second 
on an acceleration of 2 meter per second square. Don't forget, I am using the word acceleration. I will change that here. And we apply brakes. Okay. After application of brakes, it comes to press immediately. No? It comes to press. Then after application of the brakes, what is the displacement that it has been covered? Okay. Right. So what is the delta you are having? First you have to write the delta. What is the delta? Initial velocity is given. Initial velocity. What is the initial velocity? U. What is that? 20 meter per second. Because it is given. Initial velocity. And acceleration is also given. But don't forget here. Acceleration is given. Means A is given as 2 meter per second square. But don't forget after the application of brakes, what happened to this uh, acceleration? A is reduced. Means negative acceleration. So minus 2 meter per second square. And as given as the final velocity also. Final velocity. We application the brakes, it comes to rest of some and the velocity. Zero. Now what is our requirement? What is the displacement that it has been covered? So S is equal to question mark. Right? Now, formula. What is the formula we have to use? If you analyze the data, we can easily analyze the formula. V is there, sorry, V is there, Q is there, A is there, S you have to find. V, U, A, S. V, U, A, S. What is the formula for V, U, A, S? Correct. V square minus M square is equal to 2 units. Substitute those values here. V square solution. Now that part is equal to solution. V square is 0 square minus U 20 whole square is equal to 2 into A minus 2 into S. It's about minus 420 square. 2 to the 4 and double zero square is there. 400 is equal to plus into minus minus 4 s now minus minus get cancelled s is equal to s 400 by 4 so s is equal to how much 100 so after application of the brakes 100 meters it can travel 100 meters okay don't forget the units don't forget the units displacement meters so that I am going to write all that uh, units also meter per second square zero so for the zero I am going to write okay so like this most three after getting the answer the few children may forget about the now we got the answer so they may by the enthusiasm of maybe one or enthusiastic they may forget about the writing units so half mark is being required for the units so don't forget of writing the units of the solution so what is the important thing here after observing the problem, after observing the problem, we have to analyze the data. What is the data? With respect to data, what is the relation? Okay, what is the relation among this data? Then go for the solution, simply simplification. Okay, I think you understood. So, what we discussed today? Power clarification and third, fourth equation of linear motions. It was practice that fourth equation of linear motion ma. Fourth equation of linear motion practice is needed because new uh, exp expressions are there. We are using different uh, uh, side conversions as well as uh, uh, arithmetic formulas and etc. Okay, so practice that. Once you practice, then it is very easy to analyze. So it's about the problem numericals. Uh, by the coming class, we will learn few more numericals, how we can analyze and how we try to change the signs and etc. Okay? Have a good day. Thank you.